Property Lean Brothers is back with another home tour. We'll be showing you guys a beautifully renovated executive mansionette that is just 5 minutes away from the Beauty World MRT station. Heading up from the lift lobby, our unit is somewhat like a corner corridor unit and what I really love about this corridor is that there's actually high ceiling that's done up to allow for natural light to come in to brighten up your corridor and your unit itself. So let's head in. So with the unit itself, before we dive right in, let me just share with you guys a little bit more about where we're located at as well as the history and the beauty behind Executive Minzanet in Singapore. So currently, we're located at Toei Drive Estate, which is the intersection between Bukit Timah and Upper Bukit Timah Road at District 21. This is the home to Singapore's rich foliage and well-known suburban shopping centres, surrounded with condominiums and landed properties. In the Toei Drive Estate, we are actually the only HDB estate that is located in the beauty world vicinity. And Executive Minzanet is one of the rarest unit type form that HDB has ever produced and has actually stopped producing them since 1995. And of course, the sheer size of EM range anything between 1,500 square feet all the way to 2,000 plus square feet. So if you're looking for space, then this is really the one for you to look out for. Our unit is at 1614 square feet. So on the first level, you have your living, dining, and your kitchen area, and also an additional washroom located at the first floor. So on the second level, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms, which I'll show you guys later on. So starting out at the foyer area, a digital lock system has been done up, blinds and also frosted window for the added level of privacy. And what I really love about the entire layout of this home is that originally there used to be a lot of odd shapes and our owners have converted this into a very regular shape layout and they have not wasted any of the odd shaped spaces and converted them into storage spaces as well. So over here is where you can find your first hidden storage spaces and you can easily store your household necessities and also fit it affordable by inside. So there are three other hidden spaces around this home. So follow me and I'll show you guys around. So in the HDB original floor plan, this area used to be the dining space with an angular odd shaped wall located on this side and the stairwell entrance facing up in this direction. So our IDs have also repositioned the dining set over here because looking at the original HDB floor plans, you have to place your dining table against the slanted wall and in front of the staircase as well. So we think that placing it in this way allows for the dining set to really have a proper and regular shape layout. With this new configuration, it can help to open up the foyer area and this wall also has been hacked down to make the whole entire area feel more spacious. And where I'm currently standing at right now used to be the kitchen area and over here used to be a study room and the balcony being pushed to the side and converted into your new kitchen area. So by doing it this way, it allows for a lot of natural light to come into the area and expand the total size of the space, making it feel more spacious. So with the dining area, a six-seater dining set has been placed and if you do wish to have your friends and family coming over, you can also choose to have an extendable dining space. Where I'm currently located at can also be converted into a study room. We have done 3D renderings and quotations for better visualization. But currently right now, there has been storage spaces that are done up in this area with the hidden pantry spaces located on this side and your fridge and also a hidden washer cum dryer that has been neatly tucked away in this space with your microwave oven and additional storage space on top as well. So let's head over to check out the living room. So the living room faces towards an unblocked greenery view and beautiful wooden carpentries also has been done up in this area as well. So this is actually the second hidden storage spaces that can be found in this home and an L-shaped couch has been done up with ample distance between the TV and the sofa area as well. I feel that the woody tone and cove lighting also gives a really warm and homey feel to the living area. Moreover, the unblocked greenery view on this side also helps to make the living area feel more naturistic. So now let's pop over to this area that has been entirely reconfigured as well. So with the third hidden storage space, the IDs has also neatly tucked away the toilet and shifted the basin towards the inside. And by doing it so, it makes the space feel more visually pleasing. Let me show you guys the enclosed kitchen. So heading to the kitchen area, there are also two access points, one coming in from the living area and one coming in from the dining area as well. 
The kitchen has been done up with two induction cooker hob and also top to bottom storage for your utensils. There's also a hidden refuge chute that has been neatly tucked away at the side. So what's interesting is that there has also been a very unique clothes rack that has been done up in this area that can be extended to hang more clothes. And large windows have also been fitted in this area so that it allows for natural wind and light to dry your clothes as well. So if you don't want to cook up a storm, you can actually head over to Bukit Timah Food Center, which is just right beside your estate. There's also been a sheltered walkway that has been done up. So even on your rainy days, you don't have to worry about getting wet just to get your food. So let us share with you guys some price point comparison as well as some price breakdown. For resale EMs that are found in the similar vicinity that are primed for renovations, are having an asking price in the range of 920k. So let us break down the price a little further. With a price point of 920k, this would mean that if we were to take a bank loan, we would have to fork out 5% cash which adds up to be 46000 and to renovate an EM will cost you around 100k, which puts our total cash outlay around 146,000. Alternatively, you can opt for a newly renovated EM just like ours and save on time and opportunity costs. Our unit is having an asking price of 1 million, and if you're taking a bank loan, assuming that there is no cash overvaluation, this will put the total cash outlay at 50k at 5% of the valuation. So if you're someone that's looking for that hassle-free process and lesser cash outlay, then I think this unit is really something for you to consider. Right, before we head up, there's also been a bomb shelter that has been done up and it can also act as your additional storage space. So let's head up. So the staircase is a ledge. I think this is a great area for you to put your art pieces or family portraits and even convert this area into a bookshelf as well. So now we're on the second floor. As mentioned, there are three bedrooms. So let me take you in into the first one. So this room is more of like a study room for our owners. They fitted a desk as well as a sofa and display cabinets on this side as well. So if you wish to convert this into a proper bedroom, you can actually fit a queen size bed over here. So here's a 3D rendering on how it can actually look like. So let's head over to the second bedroom. So in the second common room, our owners have fitted a bunk bed with two side study desks and a five panel wardrobe space as well. Now if you wish to fit a king size bed in this location over here, that can be done up as well. And you also have a space to fit in your study table and a vanity tabletop. And what I really love about the bedrooms is that you're not so closely located to the neighbouring blocks, so you won't have your neighbours looking into your rooms as well. Alright, so this is the common toilet. And what I really like about the common toilet is that Additional storage spaces has been done up below the basin. Shower screen has also been done up. So one very interesting thing that the IDs have done is that they have created this downward slope close to the shower area. So this means that as you're showering, water will actually flow back into the shower area itself. So now let's head to the master bedroom. The master bedroom has been fitted with a king size bed and two side tables with a six panel wardrobe space as well. The ID has consistently followed the woody theme of the home including the bed's headrest and the parquet flooring really complements it all together as well. And now I'll reveal the fourth and final hidden space in this home which is behind the master bed itself. So this space is great for you guys to store your household necessities and also essentially make your home clutter free. And of course the master bedroom comes with its own attached bathroom as well. Top and bottom storages as well as two window ventilation panels. Alright, so let's head down to the living room to talk more about the location as well as the up and coming developments in the area. So as mentioned in the earlier part of the video, our location offers a wide array of amenities nearby, such as Beauty World Plaza, Beauty World Center, Bukit Timah Plaza, where you can find your household needs. And for foods, I think you're spot with choices as well, because in this location, you're located right beside the Bukit Timah Food Center, and just down the stretch, you can find your shop houses with famous eateries like El Azar, Five Star Chicken Rice, and many more. For nature lovers, we're located close by to Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, and for schools within 1km, you have your famous Pei Hua Presbyterian High School, Bukit Primary School, 
Methodist Primary School. So in terms of future development, Beauty World is undergoing a lot of transformation in this area right now, such as community building and private residential property. The coast-to-coast -coast trail developments will also be located near us as this trail links Lower Silita Reservoir to the Jurong Lake Gardens. The rail corridor, formerly a railway line that stretches 24km from the north to the southern part of Singapore, will also be transformed into a communal space that will link 1 million people within 1 kilometer of the rail corridor. And moreover, there's an up-and-coming MRT station located near us which is aimed to be completed by 2029. Alright, so let's wrap up the home tours at one of my favourite spots at the home. And if you're someone in the market that's looking for a rare executive men's net and you love space and appreciate the separation of the living and dining space to your bedrooms as well as the thoughtful design that has been placed in this home, then do give us a call. This is Sean from Pavilion Brothers, always happy to show the place. And of course, the sheer size of EMs range between 1,500 square feet all the way to 2,000 plus square feet. So if you're looking for space... <laughs> this is like a meme. Sitting on a toilet bowl and doing this. <laughs>